exactly 100 days ago Russia attacked Ukraine. I sort of expected some sort of war on the continent, just looking back at the history and the frequency of armed conflicts, but uh, this one, even though somewhat intellectually expected, took me by surprise and horror for various reasons. Some of them are very intimate and personal. My mom was born in Stanisławów, now called Ivano-Frankivsk. Um, there are lots of uh, connections also on various um, levels um, between my current state and Ukraine. And uh, for the last three months I've been in various ways um, reacting emotionally and a little bit work-wise to the situation. And so in the process I accumulated a certain amount of uh, sketches and, and, and thoughts and certain uh, uh, question marks. And I will share right now with you a few of them. I've been uh, asked to do some video journalism concerning the refugees from Ukraine and it took about three weeks or so for me almost daily to to gather the materials and that gave me the uh, the chance to actually meet those people face to face. Mm, I want to share with you a couple of um, short um, things that I've done in the process of um, Wo working around the subject of um, Russian aggression. So the first one is um, a piece that I sort of sketched for myself um, when I went to witness um, the demonstration in front of the building of Russian diplomats. No Rimberga, la Putina! No Rimberga, la Putina! Von za dom! Von za dom! Wy jesteście na tej liście zbrodniarzy. Poznaliście siebie tutaj na tej liście. Wasze dzieci i wasze wnuki będą się wstydzić tego, że ich ojcowie i dziadkowie byli ludobójcami. Ruski wojenny krawy! Idź na chuj! Ruski wojenny krawy! Idź na chuj! one can, in a philosophical way, approach and find oneself in a situation of crisis. The collapse of uh, the game that was somewhat being played uh, in a more or less reasonable fashion. And um, I actually um, realized that uh, in addition to me asking uh, out there what are the new concepts and ideas that can relate to how should we position ourselves to what's happening, if it's at all possible, I should actually look back and see what's in the archive that I've done, that I have. And it seems to me that uh, I've got something that actually on a purely theoretical level uh, fits the criteria, fits the quest, fits the, uh, the question that I posed in terms of finding some solution and some, some, some background, some commonalities, intellectual, philosophical, vision-wise, that could help um, deal with the issues. 
I think that my father, um, Janusz Kuczyński, when he came up with the idea of uh, universalism, which was absolutely um, novel, I think, at the time, and, and slightly crazy, crazy in a good way, um, was uh, going in the direction that uh, was and is very much needed. But because of certain tensions and dynamics and forces around him, that thing sort of deteriorated. And um, I actually think that it deteriorated due to two things. Uh, the people who kept uh, uh, running with the torch that he created were just not up to the game. Not going any further with that. Or uh, it deteriorated because there were other people who saw the potential and they did not want for that to happen. Fragmentation, putting question marks, uh, splitting her, um, old numbers that usually work and weaken something that can be fundamental and uh, a springboard for a better world. And that's a huge subject. It still sits heavy on my heart. I might one day uh, address it in a, in, a, in a fuller way. But um, one of the people who actually um, um, followed my father was uh, and is John Renzenbrink. And that brings me back to the project Ontological Imperative. John is coming up with the formula that on the intellectual, uh, emotional, metaphysical, uh, rational level uh, should be perfect, solid, inspirational to create something uh, that can uh, turn the tide. And then the question is, is it going to remain? another one of those visionary uh, insights that sort of metaphorically speaking sits there on the shelf and gathers dust or will actually be uh, away on a group of people or some gifted individual individuals who will turn it and make it into a social uh, reality uh, and it seems to me that right now to put it simply, there is no lack of intellectual responses and uh, intellectual and philosophical tools, I dare to say. What's lacking is the way in which uh, there could be a transition, a translation of those ideas into what uh, has to uh, transpire in a social sphere, action, management, um, organization. That was a little bit of a, a detour. And now going back to uh, the subject that I started with, meaning uh, the responses to war in Ukraine. <laughs> Więc panowie, możecie zobaczyć, jak na czych oczach wyglądacie. To właśnie wy macie krab na rękach. To proszę to... wezwać policję, proszę pana. Niech nas polska policja ściąga, bo przyszliśmy protestować przeciwko temu, że finansujecie mordowanie ludzi. Możecie zobaczyć, jak na czych oczach wyglądacie. To właśnie wy macie krab na rękach. To właśnie świetle Ruamerman i Aszan ma krew na rękach.
Okay. Um, that's gonna be enough for today. Uh, next installment is going to return to the ontological imperative.